How's it going today? My name's Connor, if we haven't had a chance to, to meet yet, and I'm out here hiking on an old military trail road uh, at a lake near where I live. So I'm getting out of the office a little bit today to do some work in a different venue. I'm gonna hike up to a spot that has a picnic table, and I'm gonna make some coffee using a backpacking stove, so stay tuned. cooking uh, with the pocket rocket you're gonna need a couple things you're gonna need a fuel canister the stove itself um, a lighter either a Zippo or uh, MSR makes this click igniter that you can get I'll leave uh, descriptions to all this stuff uh, below in the video and then you can get a just a cup you can get this online it's a only a couple bucks it's not very expensive it's got the handles that come out and form so you can hold your cup like that when you're done so let's get started all right so here's a quick close-up of the MSR pocket rocket stove and I've had this stove for a couple of seasons now and it's worked really well for me uh, you can see here it's got the fold-out legs uh, it's got three of them to support a uh, a pretty good range of uh, sizes of cooking pots and cups and then it comes in uh, this little red carrying case that's pretty handy to have uh, so you can store it really easily in your pack or your bag or whatever you're taking out on the trail with you. First we're going to open up the pocket rocket with three arms. We're going to put it on and this has a little valve on it right there that you can turn to open up the get and let the fuel out. We're going to use Zippo. And just like that we're ready to make some coffee. Turn that down a little bit. Grab our water. There you go. All right, now we just wait for the water to boil. Um, it takes usually only a minute or two to do that, and then we'll be ready to pour our instant coffee in. I'm using that today. Um, if you want to grind your own beans and take those on the trail with you, I'd recommend that. But for today, I just wanted to do something quick and easy while I'm out here. I don't have a whole lot of time, um, so I just brought some instant coffee with me to pour in there. All right, guys, here's a closer look at the pocket rocket in action that cup fits nicely on there just sits right on top no problems not shaky I don't feel like it's gonna fall at any point while I'm using it and uh, you can buy fuel canisters uh, like that online but really I'd recommend uh, just going to a local sporting goods store um, and grabbing one there you'll be able to find plenty because the shipping to buy these um, from what I've seen online anyway costs a lot and it's not something I'd want to pay for where you can just go and buy a canister for um, less than ten dollars usually depending on what size you want so I'd just recommend going to your local sporting goods store and grabbing a fuel canister there all right we're just about up to a full boil and so we'll get ready here in a moment to put our coffee in and keep kicking on some work all right, so the water has come to a boil. Now we're just gonna turn the valve down, turn off the stove, and pour in our instant coffee. All right, now I'll wait for a minute for that to cool down. And you can grab it right off with that handle, and it's easy. Let the stove cool off for a minute, and then we can pack everything up and just drink and enjoy the coffee. Thanks for being here today to join me for a little outing to get out and do some work and enjoy some coffee outside. Um, we've been getting a lot of snow where I live, uh, so it's been nice to have that all melt away. I'm not against snow, but it's it was 
to the point where it's getting old. So I'm glad the weather is warming up. Uh, the sun is out today. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to get outside and do some work and enjoy some coffee uh, using the backpacking stove. And just to kind of show you that, um, you know, I, do, I use this for hiking and, and backpacking and camping, um, but it's something you could get to make coffee out in the woods too. Um, it's not super expensive. The stove, when I got it a few years ago, was about, I think, $40. Um, and I got that just at a sporting goods store. Um, you can find it on Amazon now. And they've actually come out, MSR has come out with a couple other models. Since then, they've come out with the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Um, which is a similar design and then also with the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe which has the um, click start built into it so you don't have to carry an extra source to uh, light the stove like a, um, like I did earlier with the, the lighter and the, and the click starter I showed you. They've got a click starter built into that MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. So just a couple options of stoves. Uh, maybe share, comment below uh, what kind of stove you use for backpacking or camping. Um, I'd be interested to hear that if you use uh, something similar to the MSR Pocket Rocket or if you've got something completely different up your sleeve. Um, I don't know about. There is another type of stove I have that um, I use that I will be uh, showing in a video coming up, uh, but I'll leave that uh, for another video. Um, so today was the MSR Pocket Rocket stove, doing some work out in nature, out in the woods, getting out. Spring is coming warmer weather is coming i'm excited for that to be able to get outside more um, so thank you for being here for today's video um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel go ahead and do that if you're interested in joining the journey on trail tech and leave a thumbs up for the video if you liked it today and of course hit those notification bells uh, to get notified every time we come out with a new video well again guys thank you for being here and we will see you in the next video